Before we get started, let's go ahead and talk about the fish food and the setup I use to feed my fish. One thing I like to do is take this dollar store, in this case, mustard container and cut the top off. And I use this kind of like a shaker and shake the food into the tanks. And what I'll put in here is actually a mixture of three different foods. So I do like to use the extreme one millimeter pellet. I like to use the North Fin veggie. And then also the tetracolor granules. So I mix this up basically a third into this container. And then uh, we'll go ahead and do that real quick. And then I'll show you uh, how I mix it all together. So take your funnel and we're just going to go ahead and pour it in here. About a third, we'll do a third of the North Fin veggie, a third of the tetracolor granules. Then you're just going to put your lid on. Then you're just going to shake it, cover your pan over the top and just shake it up and you're good to go. And then for some of the smaller fish, I like to use the aquarium co-op fry food. And one other food we are going to feed today is the extreme uh, spirulina flake. All right, so let's go ahead now, head into the fish barn and start uh, feeding some fish. So these in Buddha are a lot of fun to feed. So we're going to go ahead and take our shaker and just shake it on the top. So in this tank, we do have the purple ACI, an OB Peacock, a bunch of yellow labs, a bunch of Valisneria, and this dude over here, a cobalt blue peacock. So I'm going to go ahead now and feed these Ipophorus Kalmani. I am going to be feeding these guys the Extreme Spirulina Flake. It's definitely a favorite of mine to feed a lot of my live bears. All right, we are now going to feed the Zephyrus clemenciae. Uh, we're just going to give those guys the extreme flakes as well. Uh, let's head over now and feed the Amica Splendent. Uh, we are going to go ahead and feed them the mix out of the mustard bottle. Move on to the uh, Goiter River Rainbows. Uh, the Cabalicthes and Caustus, and our Gold Dust Mollies. So let's go ahead and feed these guys. So next up, we're gonna do the uh, our sword tails and the uh, jeweled gadeids. Kind of do the same thing here with this mix as well. Uh, next up are the African cichlids. These are the Pseudotrophius interruptus. So let's go ahead and get these guys.
This tank is really a lot of fun to feed the aquarium co-op fry food uh, with the Montezuma swords. These rainbow fish, which are starting to, pretty, to color up pretty good. The uh, Melodontania Bozmani Aves Creek. Again, we're just gonna give it a, give it a little bit of a squirt. So another good place for the uh, fry food is this 20 gallon rack and you can just kind of burn through these tanks pretty quickly. Uh, there are a couple that get something different. So if we want to go here to the, uh, the Golden Teddies. Alright so we did give the uh, fry food here to the Limia Perugia. Tiger Lemmy is here. I'm gonna give those guys the fry food as well. I really do like giving the fry food to Shelly's as well. Uh, these are the Neolamprologus Brevis Sunspot. Uh, both the fry and the adults will take this food readily. Definitely another fun fish to feed. Uh, with the fry food, you can get both the parents and the fry. Uh, let's go ahead now and talk about some of the saltwater fish. Uh, there's a variety of different saltwater foods on the market, but I do give these guys the mix that I give the freshwater fish as well. They seem to do pretty well with it. Uh, they do take it readily. So we are going to feed the first tank the mix. Uh, so this is the Amphiprion alardi along with the Molly Miller blennies. Uh, you can see that these both are taking it. Go ahead and feed the spirulina flakes to the black snowflake clowns. Uh, you can see these guys will take it readily. So definitely some good options here for your saltwater fish as well. 